that means it is Dogs Cast Monday, so welcome to Dogs Cast. Um, as always, we're going to be taking a couple minutes, about 10 minutes, to do our pre show, uh, get ready for the session, let our friends and family know that we are live, and send our links out. Quartz, you are in here right a fucking way. Um, Why is the creepy music still going? <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Quartz, how are you? Quartz, no, can, I just, can I just say. We've missed you in chat um, real bad, so I'm glad you're here. I really want to tell the story to everyone of what just happened. I was zoning out, and, and and then I, right before we started, and then I zone back in, and, and I'm like, oh, hey, where is everybody? And I look in the call, and everyone is muted, and all I can hear is this creepy fucking music. <laughs> we're sorry, we didn't know we were muted. Um, this is some horror movie bullshit. And Cher is going to kill Star. When is Mathandi gonna crawl out of my computer and strangle me to death? Cher, why are you doing this? <laughs> I probably actually can't show Kill Star. Why? It's a public website. I'm sorry I missed the past few sessions. I've been super sleepy lately and then my headphones broke so I had to wait for my new ones to come in. That's totally fine. Um, obviously, we don't expect you to be here every night, but I will say that your presence is very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? You being at Dog's beloved. Cast is very beloved, and we like having you here, and you're always a joy to have in chat. So it was just noticeable when you weren't here. Um, I was gonna show everybody where to find the nine birthday cakes. Hi, Get Nick. the Killstar secret code here. to win $500. <laughs> and then if they win... To give the 500 to you. Yes. Because <laughs> you won't shut up about it. Um, I earned them. But yeah, there, there are just some people that always come to Dog's Cast and sometimes we notice when they don't. And you, like I said, and you know, missed them. It's, always, it's fine, obviously. People have lives, people ha are get busy, so we totally understand. It's just, well, well, we miss you. We love you, Dad. We miss you. <laughs> Um, so we're glad you're here. Thank you for being here. Thank you to everyone who's in chat right now. Um, is there anyone else here? Hi, Nick. Hi, Quartz. Love Good you both. Good Quartz. Hi. That's yes. why I have mugs cast to drink your tears. The mug looks really good. Mm. Can we plug the merch real quick? Um, no. The merch, um, even like the merch we dropped last month, it just, it just looks good. It's it's organic. The tote looks good. The mugs look good. Um, people seem to like the mugs, so we might do some more mug designs because that seemed to be a thing people liked. Um, so yeah. How we how are how are you guys doing? I, I'm doing a lot of talking. How are you guys doing? Chat or other Nick people in this their call. mug. You found your mug. Mug. <laughs> I'm fully about to get <laughs> ass and I'm matching mugs to get confused by once we move the den. Honestly, I'll, I, um, at the Descript, um, school that we go to, um, I'll have to come visit you guys' dorm or something. Hi, Alexis, how are you? Wait, are they going to school your mom, too? Huh? What was that, Lynn? I didn't hear you. Are they going to the same nondescript school that you're going gonna be yep. going to? Yep. Oh my god, then I can visit you bitches. <laughs> like ten minutes from there. I was considering going there uh once my surgery's done. Hmm. I'm not living there, but um I will be attending classes. That's still an area that I am adjacent to and yeah. might be going to as well. But, like I'm, if I go there, I'm not gonna yeah, I will play PS3 with you. You could get even come over my house if you wanted. This is all stuff to be in the DMs. I'm just very excited. <laughs> um, I'm at work and I don't want to be. I'm sorry to hear that, Alexis, but we're glad to see you in chat. Um, thank you for stopping in. Um, obviously, Wait, I just realized something. What? Jem's ears aren't pointy in the room. <laughs> oh, are they supposed to be? It's okay, it's okay. I'm so sorry. <laughs> no, it is literally the smallest detail, and I it, I only noticed just because I've been, like, hyper staring at it, like, <laughs> while waiting for this to start, but I was like, wait. They are wait pointy. There's little crystals on them. That's fair. 
I'm sorry. Listen, I'm only human. No, no but Jasper, Jasper is still fucking badass looking, and I still literally screamed when I first saw this art. It's just, it, it's just a thing I noticed. I'm sorry. It, no, it's okay. Um, don't be afraid to uh, point that stuff out to me so I can fix it. You know. You don't have to fix it. It was just, it's funny to me that I was like, oh, wait a minute. That's okay. It's okay. Um, but it's nice to see some people in chat. Thank you for being here. Um, we're gonna get started in a few. Um, we got, we got a session. We do got a session. It do be a session that is happening. Um, um Kava, come back. <laughs> Everybody no, clap no, no, for no, no, Vina Kava. No, we're, we're not at that arc yet. We're not at that arc yet, Jer! Everybody clap for Vina Kava. Yeah, Vina Kava's in chat. Did y'all know? Shit. The, the joke the joke is that Alexis is secretly Vina Kava, and I like the energy of that. Venus Kava. Wow. My energy is gay gay homosexual guy. I'm very tired. Just single-handedly killed a No! I need, hey, I need a sip of if water. If you're telling people, do I get to be killed? Not yet. Damn. We got a session to do first! <laughs> Here's the Men only other person powerful. Right? Find yeah. out. By watching Dog's Cast. <laughs> Is the only other person powerful enough to do so. Find out if Lynn dies, if Lynn lives, if Lynn dies, if Lynn tells, tells their story. story. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Did you finish? Sorry. No, it's okay. I'm just very intense and the migraine is coming back, but I you know what to work on. Um, Lynn, just to let you know, your mic is doing a weird thing. Just uh, to, you know, your mic is gay. Uh, what is it doing? It, like, I don't know how to describe it. You're, like, it sounds like you're very far away when I'm guessing you're not. Tyler? What's up? Like maybe far away. Your name? What about it? <laughs> In roll 20? Yeah. Yeah, what about it? <laughs> I just got jump scared. <laughs> Eh. And um, with that, do we want to move into our introductions? Am I better now? Yeah, you sound good now. It was just sounding like you were far away from the mic. You want to know what I did? What? I brought the mic closer to my face. That, yep, that'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I snorted. It's okay. <laughs> Alright, um, introduction time? Hello, everybody. My name is Jer, my pronouns are they, them, and I am the DM for Dog's Cast. Die. Hello, my name is Jasper, I use he, him pronouns, and tonight I will be playing Callisto Polaris. Mm. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, gum bib amber bib. Translated as gem of Eve amber stone. And I'm do fighting for free. Cool. Hi, <laughs> <Right>. oh, <laughs> um, hi. Um, my, my name's Lucio. My pronouns are he, they, and I will be playing Dorla Sylvan. Love you. Hey all. Tyler here. My pronouns are he, him. And tonight, I'm playing more Scrongus. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, uh, Lynn, do you wanna get into that recap? Alright, this recap- this recap is gonna be hot shit, cause I have a migraine. Uh, it's coming back, baby! So last episode, we 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 were on a boat and then we scootle a doodle it on up to Lakakai and we're just like, ah shit, here we go again. Gotta get that divine weapon. And then we started taking like a couple steps. But I was like, holy 
fuck. We're all gay, and that's a fucking frog. High fixation time. But then the frogs are like, actually, uh, I'm gonna skiddly diddly daddle inside these walls. Uh, Lynn, your mic is doing the thing again. Hello? Is this helping? You, you, that sounds better, yeah. <laughs> Oh, this sounds better? Yes. Or was I? Um, frogs! Frogs. So there were frogs, and they're like, hey, we're gonna hop into the walls, and, 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 and I'm sure that's rooted in some sort of science, but I don't know the science, and we don't have time to explain it, because we're not a science podcast, we're a tabletop podcast. Watch Dawes Cast, Monday night, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, woo! And then a fucking, uh, and a fucking, and a fucking... I'm doing crabby hands. We started going through, and Benoa was like, yo, what up? I'm Benoa. A sitcom theme music starts playing. Bum, 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 bum. You gotta go through the trials, and once you get through the trials, you get your divine weapon, but I can't help you because I'm like a cool mentor type. Have fun, babies. Bye! Also, because I forgot to mention it, Benoa is a crystal dragon, the last crystal dragon, and then we went through the trials, and Gem made pillars and Scruggus punched pillars and it all worked out and then we we're like, okay, we gotta wait for the morning because there's a puzzle and you need to wait for it to be morning. So we're gonna have conversations. And things got really intense because Gem Aviv was finally let in on the fact that the entire memory of her and Callisto and Kanami had been completely wiped from Leshta and it's like, oh god, I can never go home. And then, and then, and then, and then, GAY HAPPENED! <laughs> As in basically, Gemma V finally confessed her feelings to Ganymede to her face and Ganymede reciprocated and now they are all friends. Yeah. That's it. Cool. And everybody went to bed. Yay, sleep. After an eventful night, everybody kind of tucked themselves into the crystal beds that were in there um, as the party had to wait until it was morning because there was seemingly a light-based puzzle. So, you know, you need to have daylight for that. Yay! <laughs> Get your energy up! Come on! So time goes by. It is now morning and everybody is awaking from their sleep. Um, are we still on this map, or is there yes. another one? Oh, we're still here? Um, yes. Okay. Per usual, Gem wakes with a start, albeit today it was more intense than usual. Like, she actually screams a little bit, and then kind of quickly regains her composure, takes a few deep breaths, takes a look at everything, looking at Ganymede specifically, and then just sort of moves herself to a corner and just starts writing, because she doesn't really- she's not hungry. Ganymede and Analy are chefing. Oh, are they? Yeah. Analy managed to get a fishing rod, like, out the window. It oh, the, is oh, okay. Getting a couple fish. Okay. Good for her. The process is working. Um, Callisto probably wakes up fairly early, but probably a little later than normal. Um, he, he slept all right, but he's just still kind of, like, shocked from the, the big reveal. Frog. Um, <laughs> the big reveal. So he's kind of just, um, he's kind of just gonna mind his business for a bit. Um, do his little stretches. There he is. He's a, he's a little grumpy, but he's trying to shake himself out of it. I did a thing. What did I just do? Uh, 
Um, I get. I guess eventually um, Callisto will probably. Here um, we go. Sorry, I, Discord gave me a message when I was fixing it. Um, I guess eventually Callisto will probably approach. Um, he'll probably go to Ganymede first. Um. Um. Hey. Morning. Um. I just wanted to apologize for last night. I just um didn't realize. I just wanted to say I'm sorry before we got going. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It's a lot to process, and I didn't realize you didn't know that. You know. I should have. Lashta had the memory wipe. I should have. I, I just didn't think of it, I guess. So that's probably more on me than anything. I apologize. You want to help me cook these fish in a few? I'm um, sure. I, I need to put my mind to something. Seems like the best breakfast we're going to get here. Better than nothing. Um, Ganymede kind of pulls out sticks that she probably keeps in her backpack. Um, and arranges a little fire in the fire pit that's there and gets ready to cook the fish. Huh. Krungus, who has probably been asleep this entire time, finally starts coming to. And like fucking Yogi Bear, <laughs> he goddamn rises from his slumber, gets up, and just immediately starts walking towards the smell of fish eyes not even half open can i can i make He's a request just, yes can you say hey boo boo in scrungus's voice <laughs> as much as i would love to i'm i'm not going to but i promise at the end of session i will say hey boo boo in scrungus's <laughs> voice thank you so um, much but you know he just you know, trudges over to where uh, the smell of fish is, and and he's oh, oh and he's gone. That, that is the that is out of the map. I'm sorry, I <laughs> I didn't realize that was the edge of the hallway there. You know, he's not even talking with anyone, just dead set on the smell of fish and getting to eat as much of it as humanly possible. Morning, Scrungus. You get, like, a grunt in response. And, like, whenever, uh, whenever Ganymede looks away even for a little second, Strungus is getting closer and closer to the fire. Ganymede eventually picks up one of the sticks that's been roasting fish and kind of hands it to Scrungus. Scrungus all too eagerly yanks it out of Ganymede's hands and is eyeing probably the largest fish. Ganymede also grabs that one. Can like, I just ish. have those sticks back, though? Uh, Scrungus kind of gives her a look. For a second. Is she still holding the fish? Yeah. Gives her a look. Looks down to the fish. Looks back to her. Looks back at the fish. I, I can Grunts. Get, I can get more sticks kinda if we need it. Shoves the stick back to her. And just kind of goes, Give me. Ganymede grabs another fish for you and like not afraid but like quickly with haste <laughs> Scrungus who is probably you know two fishes in his hands now kind of just gives an affirmative nod and then trudges back to the corner where he was sleeping I think you made him happy. Simple guy. I guess it doesn't take much. Whatever makes it whatever makes it happen. 
Ain't a lie, we're gonna need a few more fish. <laughs> I can do that. Um, I don't need to eat that much. I can I can probably live without too much if if we you can can't find. We can split one. Okay, that works. <laughs> Gem sort of snaps to attention for a hot second, and it's just like, Skrungus can have my share. I I don't eat anyway. I I don't. Yeah. And then just goes back to feverishly writing. Skrunga seems all too pleased with these developments. <laughs> <laughs> Orlef is probably not gonna even make the, the like the try to even like get any food because he will not eat. Ganymede's gonna make sure you eat one anyway. Orlef will look with disgust, but not in a way that he doesn't like fish, but more like he just doesn't like eating. You gotta keep your strength up. Orlef will probably just grunt at that. Do you want it roasted a little further? No, this is fine. It's okay. Probably eat, like half of the fish and like <laughs> the other half of the fish like slowly move it towards Scrungus. Scrungus, who has finished both of the fish and is currently gnawing on the bones. Again, all too eagerly grabs at it, not even realizing that Torleth was the one who gave it to him. Gobbles it up in one bite and again goes back to gnawing on bones. Yeah, honey, you would. Um, Ganymede is also gonna take a fish, the one for the two of you, mm -hmm. and is gonna try and, you know, fillet it. Yeah. Um, and as you, she's doing that, you can kind of smell the fish burning a little. Is she, what is she using to fillet it? Is it, it's Corona? Yeah. Damn. And then she opens it up and realizes that it was heating it and kind of cooking it. Oh. So what? We just got a bunch of quick cooking knives. Um, Callisto will probably take out Sunspot, and he's just gonna run a hand, like run his like fingertips over the blade. Is it like hot? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I guess we always have a, a source of heat. In some way. And he probably puts it, cheaps it again. Uh, I guess we're gonna keep finding out more weird things about these weapons as we use them. So. Um, Callisto's probably gonna notice Jem. Um, real quick. Um, kind of walk up to her. Um, uh, hey Jem, how you doing? She sort of jumps when you say that, like, she wasn't all there mentally, and she's just like, oh, oh, uh, hi. <coughs> Excuse me, that was Morlin. Uh, hi, Callisto. I didn't mean to scare you, I'm sorry, I just wanted to check in. Yeah, yesterday was a, a lot. Yeah, I'm sorry about that. For, for no, both of no. us. Yeah, you, I, I kind of went off but are are you okay yeah yeah um i'll be all right i just uh, a lot on the mind you know no totally i take it you kind of feel the same way and he kind of like um like nods his head at the notebook and kind of does a little po a point i guess you feel the same way huh oh 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 this um kind of it's it's a little complicated. Um, I don't mean to pry. I just wanted to, you know, make sure you were good because uh, it looks like we've got uh, another day of adventuring and trials ahead of us. So I just want to make sure we're all on the same page. No, um, this isn't anything from last night. I mean, yesterday. I mean, it's from last night. And you notice that she kind of holds it to her chest a little bit, but you can kind of see that the page is, like, 
covered in almost panicked scribbles. Um, he kind of like, you know, when dogs do that thing where they like tilt their head to the side in like complete confusion. Yeah. He does one of those real quick. Um, kind of gives you a look like, um, he's concerned, but he like doesn't want to ask almost. Um, let me know if you need anything, okay? She like looks at you. She looks back down at the journal in her hands. She looks at you again. Looks like she feels bad. I... I'm sorry. I, I guess... I can... I trust you enough to show you. Just don't... judge too much. Um, okay, don't share anything with me that you don't want to. Um, he's probably gonna, like, do a little crouch down, though, and kind of, like, do a look around to make sure no one else is listening. Uh, she puts it down in front of him. Yeah, this is a journal for my thoughts, but it's... It's mostly a dream journal. Oh. I... I oh. have... I have the same nightmare every night, and... I just... Try to keep track of it. It's... It's been like that for a long time. Um, and he's probably just like eyeing over the notebook, um, just looking at the, the scribbles and, um, the scrawlings. Um, this has been going on for a while? Ever since I left the circus, yeah. As you can see, the dream is always the same format. I'm running, and then I fall and I'm hanging off a cliff, and someone will appear. Usually Sterling, but it's it changes sometimes. I've seen Rasmusis, Ganymede, Mathandi. She looks a little awkward as... I assume Callisto's like flipping through as she says this. Uh, he definitely sees his name at least once. Yeah, yeah. And then they say awful things about me. Some of it's true. Most of it, probably, and then... And then I fall. I fall into water, and... And I drown. Um, well... I can assure you that most of us know, like, Raz and... Crap, I'm so sorry, I can't hear one moment. My Discord did the thing again. Whoop! There we go, I can hear again, I'm so sorry about that. It, okay, sorry. It, 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 my uh, audio output. Um... He, as he's flipping through, um, he just goes, Well, um, I can assure you that at least some of us, and he kind of looks over his shoulder a little bit, but he doesn't really look at anyone in particular. I know some of us wouldn't say these things to you. Um, you know, like Raz and Ganymede and them. That, that wouldn't happen. But, um, I, I, I don't know much about this circus that you were in. I've only heard you know, secondhand stuff from you and Ganymede, but, um, what do you think it means? I don't... I don't know. Maybe... Um, I think... I wish I could tell you. I really wish I knew. I just... It's the same every night. Um, from my understanding, you failed Sterling at the circus, right? She... She cannot pale, but if she could, she very much would have when he said that. Yeah, I... I did. Killed her dead. By... Right through the heart. Well, she kind of puts a hand over her mouth. Um, if it's any assurance, I mean, the circus is gone, she's gone, and he can't hurt you. And he has this very sad look in his eyes when he says that. She can't hurt you, right? Her eyes go wide when he says that. 
I... I don't think so. Um, he kind of uh, shakes his head a little and then, like, looks at her affirmatively and says, She can't hurt you. She's gone. She looks down, almost looking a little guilty for a moment, and then looks back and nods. She can't hurt me. She can't hurt you, and none of your friends are going to turn their back on you like this. I know I can't speak for everyone, but I know most of us would go out of our way to help you in whatever way we can. And we would always stop something like this from happening. I know it's not going to stop the nightmares, but at least I want to provide some assurance that this is just a nightmare and will not come to fruition, you know? Thank you, Callisto. It, it means a lot, even if I'm not showing it. Um, just don't be afraid to reach out. Um, I know it's easier said than done, but, um, even just having a friend to, you know, metaphorically have a shoulder to cry on or, you know, anything like that. And you've got them. You've got those friends. So just don't forget that, okay? Okay. And, um, she looks a little pink at this. How much did you hear last night? Um, I- Ganymede talking. Um, I kind of just tried to mind my business. I was kind of wrapped up in my own thoughts, you know? Yep. And she's, like, very pink but trying to hide it. That makes t total sense. Don't- Nothing to worry about. And she she just seems a little flustered. I didn't miss anything important, did I? Uh, uh, looks at Ganymede, looks back at Pan- looks at, at... <laughs> Take your time. <laughs> looks back at Callisto. Wait, uh... Um... Hey Ganymede, isn't there something you wanted to tell Callisto? And then she, like, walks away <laughs> towards her left. It's like, like, she picked a direction and she just went. <laughs> and <laughs> just removes herself from the conversation. Um, Callisto probably just sits there for a minute. He he has a, a feeling. He he has an inkling of kind of what happened, but he, he he's not gonna cry. He just kind of shakes his head, shrugs, and probably goes back to, um... To cook or something and get ready for the day. <laughs> Ganymede is just woman standing emoji. <laughs> like, huh? Just holding a fish. They, he probably just makes small talk with her. He doesn't. He doesn't pry about it. He doesn't ask. He just kind of lets it, lets it simmer. Um, tries to just have a normal day and try to keep the spirit up. Jim just awkwardly sits in front of Torla. <laughs> Just like, oh jeez. Hi. Oh, putting you in mute. Um, <laughs> hey, Jem. Uh, did you sleep well? As best as I could. How about you? Uh, best as I can. What is the fish any good? Skrunga seems to like it. He sure does. Uh, it was okay. Again, eating really isn't my thing. I can relate to that. Yeah. But, uh, you need it more than I do. Are you sure you're gonna be okay? I, I trust you, though. I'll be fine. I, I, I can survive off of basically nothing, but... <laughs> um... But I have an idea. Uh, yeah. And she pulls out, uh, like, her source crystal, and she breaks a piece off. It's not really meant, but, like, for you people, but it still has some value to it. You could just try sucking on it. It's only a little bit, but it should give you enough energy to get throughout today. Uh, is it just, like, 
sugar? It's rock candy. But, like, for growing. Okay. And Toraleth takes it and just starts, you know... Tries just to don't... bite at it. <laughs> don't bite it! You're gonna break your teeth! Oh, okay. <laughs> he just, like... Sucks on it like a lollipop, I guess. You... Put the source crystal in your mouth, and... It takes a second, and then in your brain you hear... Five hour energy. <laughs> what the fuck? And you feel great! <laughs> this is the best you've ever felt! Oh... Cool. <laughs> it, uh... it tastes like dirt, though. <laughs> But, like, really sugary dirt. If you just oh. took a handful of... Like, imagine you're a little kid and you're making, like, those little mud pies for your yeah. friends. And you somehow got sugar and you put it on it and you said, I will taste this. <laughs> that's what it tastes like for you. No, 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 no. That's that's battery acid. <laughs> five hour energy tastes like battery acid. This isn't five hour energy. You made the joke! Yeah. And it's I responded energy. to that joke with five hour energy taste. Yeah, like well, the floor acid. is wet. You're wet. I didn't, I didn't think about that. I'm sorry. Anyway! You did think about that. I heard you think about it. I hesitated. Jesus Christ. I should have thought. <laughs> Toraleth feels great. I throw some rock candy to Scrungus. Because he's a huggy boy. Grungus. Again. Like Yogi fucking Bear. <laughs> sniffs at the air. Again, he's he's probably like... As much as I hate to say, he's probably deep-throating a fucking oh. fishbone. <laughs> and, again, sniffs at the air. Pulls what's left of the fishbone out of his mouth. Spoilers, there's not a lot. <laughs> Drops it. And he makes the sound of like a stone slab rubbing up against itself as he slowly just maintaining almost like head on a wire. He just kind of rotates towards Jem. Stares at her for a second. Picks up the piece of rock candy. Crushes it in his hand and shoves it in his mouth. She gives him a little thumbs up. Grungus, you feel energetic. However, it does taste better for you. That makes sense. Grungus has eaten it before. Yes. I know. Th no, that's what I'm saying. Like That's why she, like, panicked through it, because she's not sure how to deal with social interaction on this on this fine Monday. It's Monday now in canon, I guess. Uh, for Scrungus, it tastes like... I don't know, Mango Madness uh, Monster Energy. It's red! Wouldn't it be Fruit Punch flavored? It's orange. I have been under the assumption it is red this whole time. I will go back and check the VOD right now. <laughs> it's fine! It might be red, I don't know. But it, right now, fun. it's orange. 99% He, he gobbles it up in, like, the loudest, grossest way possible. It is orange today, because of where you are. Use That's critical valid. thinking. <laughs> yeah, okay, fair enough. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't have that. <laughs> For August. What the fuck is that code? Callisto's probably just watching this happen and just being like, what the? What the? <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> um, <laughs> is everyone good to go? Well, the, the light filters through the window, finally, at the correct angle, and the door swings wide open and leads to a set of stairs. Alright. I guess we're good to go. Is everyone ready? Um, onwards, sports. 
Oh, me still hungry. It's more so downwards. Onwards and downwards. I give Strungus a bit more rock candy and start walking. Again, he takes it, crushes it in his hand, and gobbles it up as he picks himself up off the floor and trudges after the rest of the party. You're happy, big guy. Alright. You step past the staircase and down into a large room with one, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten stones. Ten crystal pillars. Um. Hold on, there should be one in the center. Oh. Whoops. It's a large friend. No, this one's actually the shortest of all the pillars. Um. Well, excuse me, princess. <laughs> okay. Um, it... The light comes through the mountain on this side, through this one spot right here, and lands gently on this central pillar. Uh, um, how t how tall are the um the ones around it, and how tall is the one um, in the center? The ones around it are probably 10, 15 feet tall. The central one is about three. Is the light shining through this one here? Yes. Okay. It amplifies as it goes through that one. Okay. Um... The middle one? It shines gently through this middle one. And is... Um, grows in intensity once it goes through it. I'll put my hand in the light beam. It shines through your hand, um, being, you know, the same kind of opacity as these crystal pillars. <laughs> she giggles. That's, that's entertaining. Um, this, this, um, this one in the center here isn't, it doesn't look like movable or anything, no. right? Okay. Yeah, none that's of, what I asked. None of these look like they can be moved. But it looks like it could be stood on. I stand on it. You stand on it and it shifts down a little bit with the pressure. Um. <laughs> that was in character. Yeah. And it, it looks like shifts. it's, it shifts um so that kind of where your hands would be are where the sun is now meeting hmm. i move my hands like a clock it just goes right through you oh okay i can't like angle the light no because you have the same opacity oh uh, i hop down clisto hmm can you try standing um, sure. I, I don't know what I would do, but, um, Callisto hops up, well, they're on top of each other. Um, Callisto hops move, up they onto move, the- move, Um, Callisto hops onto the, the little stone. Does anything happen? It meets Callisto's hands. Um. I have an idea, I have an idea, I have an idea, I have an idea, I have an idea. Sorry, I got excited. What's your idea? Uh, do you have Sunspot or Corona? I have Sunspot. I was actually gonna do the same thing. I was gonna take yeah, out Sunspot. Yeah, I love Sunspot! Um, he takes out Sunspot and he just kinda holds it in front of him first. Um, does anything happen? It splits the light. <gasps> um. Ah. Hold on. Me when I'm orange rectangle! Oh. Fuck! We can get Scrungus in on this too, and Ganymede! Yes. And that. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, 
Oh, it reflects on both of them? Yes. Okay. Um, he's just kind of, like, holding it and seeing the, um, the, the beams go. Um, my guess is that something will probably open up if we get a beam of light on most of these pillars. Uh, uh, hey, Ganymede! Yeah? Wanna Lucio come does some... not become the DM. <laughs> what? Lucio does not become the DM with Lucio play game. Lucio Luc DM. Lucio DM. Lucio is playing game. Lucio DM. All right, Lucio, what happens? <laughs> <laughs> we, we, the, the puzzle is done. <laughs> we did it! <laughs> yeah. Oh, the door is open! <laughs> I give the DM back to Jerry. <laughs> <laughs> um, this tower lights up, kind of. The light fills it, but this one does not. Huh. Ganymede kind of goes in front of this one. Oh, you can't rename Jerry Lucio over the stream because I already named myself an idiot. I was ahead of you. All right. The enemy does the same. Does it oh. reflect? Interesting. Okay. <laughs> Do any of these bad Larrys glow when she does this? Hold on. Holding on. Solvan, Torla Solvan. Um. Interesting. I should think about it. <laughs> this one lights thing. up. Could you mark them? Yeah. Thank you. Like put like a line on them. Or I mean, Ox? if they're tokens, you can probably put, like, a little icon. They're not the tokens. Circle. They're, um, not pieces. Okay. Yeah. Is the one in this beam lighting up? No. Oh, okay. It's the central. Kind of, the light gets through it. Oh, and this one, the one that Ganymede's standing in isn't either? Yeah. Oh, okay. Does anything happen if I touch one of the... Glowing ones? No. Okay. Does anybody have anything reflective? The light just kind of goes through my body. Um. Are we aware that Strongus can turn into metal? Oh, that's true, yeah. Krungus is sitting on the ground like the fucking finger right now. <laughs> but but are we aware that, that Skrungi can metallicize when when he raids? I mean, yeah, you would all be aware of that. Okay. You've definitely seen it. Uh Skrungus. Again, sitting on the ground like a thinker. Can I borrow you for a minute? Please? In what I presume is a fairly um, acoustic-heavy cavern, you hear the world's most audible grumbly groan as he stands up and trudges across, mm. making sure that every single footstep is as <laughs> loud as humanly possible. Gem is covering her ears. Actually, you're standing in the perfect spot. Can you just- no, no, go up one more. Thank you. <laughs> Can you just turn to metal real quick? Please? It will mean a lot to me. He gives you a very, very... just mean look. Sighs, rolls his eyes, and just pounds his chest twice, and then he starts raging. <laughs> Disco time. <laughs> Thank oh. you for the joke in chat, which reminded me that Skrunkus can do this. <laughs> I'll just 
see it. Do <laughs> either is, of them glow? This is confusing to look at. <laughs> I'm following, I'm following. Oh, he gets three. Grungus titties be that wide. <laughs> Alright. Yeah. See that this one currently lights up. Oh. Hello? Hello? <laughs> um, and that door oh the wall oh, door falls down over there. Uh it's someone moves, does the wall stay open or does it close? Are you gonna test it? I'm gonna go look. Okay. Uh, Anilai, Tora, let's go look real quick. Are you coming, Anilai? No. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, I thought you wanted friends! <laughs> Oh. oh god, I ran out of the map! I ran out of the map! Analy wins. <laughs> Analy, this is how Analy can still win. Analy always wins. Um, <laughs> over here, there seems to be some sort of um, prism just sitting there. Um, that looks like you can take it. I take the prism. Uh, sorry, I dragged you here for prism. <laughs> I thought this would, there would be more to this. Queen, cringe, Nene, baby. <laughs> That's you. Oh, wait, 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 wait! If it's a prism, if it's a prism, uh, Callisto. What'd you find? I found a prism. Can you hop down for a minute? Um. Oh, oh no! Oh wow. no! Oh, no! Yes, I... No! Oh, Undo! Undo! How do I undo? <laughs> Control Z? Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> please! <laughs> please! Please! How do I undo? <laughs> oh no! I'll, I'll Google it! I'll Google it! Obama prison! <laughs> <laughs> um. How to undo? Um, 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 uh, control C M D Z or control Z, yeah, control Z. Are you control Zing? It's not working. <laughs> All right, oh, put it back on, right? Hold. Yeah, it's just gonna take a minute. Well, wait, 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 Cry, tr try control shift. Hold on, Jim, I have it. Hold up. Oh. But, oh, it's almost there. Just, yeah, there we go. But I'll be, um, <laughs> there we go. Sorry about that. Um, buy our merch. Anyway, um, what was that, Jim? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, 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 the um, pillars no longer light up. When I oh. sit down? I was gonna put the no, prism. Uh, well, once the prism was picked up, they no longer light up and the door stays open. I put the prism in the middle. Alright. Seems a light. See when these, uh... These Seems like schmoovin. Triangle. Not triangle. Rectangle. What the fuck? <laughs> there. That's my prism. I drew a prism. Its sides are wrong. It's just a triangle. Sides are wrong. It's just a representative. Oh. <laughs> I'm okay. No, I'm okay. Ah, oh, my head. Okay. Sorry, migraine. Did I get a concussion or some shit? What the heck? 
Right. Okay. Is that the light? Yes. It does Grungus... Oh, there. Are they glowing? Yes, those three are glowing. There's three, okay. Okay, does Grungus standing there still metal make the light refract at all? Oh, wait. If Grungus is standing in front of that one, it does not light up. Um... Can we have Callisto daggers as well? Um, where would you like him to stand? If you could stand, like, on the edge, like, where you are now, and then, like, shove a dagger stuff. Um, just, like, uh, hand it, like, point it out. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Just sort of angle the light somewhere. I don't know. I'm not Okay, smart. um... He's actually gonna take out, um, cause he has other, other daggers too, he's just gonna try it. He puts, um, he has Sunspot in his right hand and a regular dagger in his left, and he just kind of, um, T-poses with them. <laughs> Where? And right there, so like... So blocking this one? No, just to like, see if it's, it can, like, refract in the beam. Not oh. fully in the beam. Yeah, it not does. Like, not to like here. trying to block it. And... This one, but it doesn't do anything. Okay. Um, I don't know if that's doing it. He's trying his best. <laughs> um. So there's only two that are lit up. Yes. Okay. But the light is path towards Scrungus. It's symbolism. <laughs> what? Cheers <laughs> um, trying to give me a hint, and I don't know what they're saying. <laughs> I'm honestly lost, to be really honest with you. Three simple puzzles that will make the players kick themselves when they realize. What about him? Scrungus? Yeah, Scrungus no. rotates like a fucking stone slab, like a fucking hot dog <laughs> at a gas station. To face Callisto. Um, could you just move a little bit to your to your right? Uh, so is that up or down? I'm up. just. Could you ping it? Uh, yeah, just like just any direction. Here, out yeah. of the beam. Okay. Asking Frungus to move here. Oh, okay. So. Well, I, I didn't hear that. I'm sorry. Because then that's Gammy Neve in this beam. Refracting light, and then Scrungy on this beam. Scrung light. Scrungus moves, a, and one of the doors opens. Now that that one is lit up. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, the one down there. Yeah. Oh. Um. Do you want me to go investigate that one? I'm kind of useless in this puzzle because the light just goes right through me. Um, Callisto will come with. If I can move. <laughs> I ran out of them again, like Sonic the fucking Hedgehog. Oh. It's at like 55 speed I have. I mean, we're not in initiative, so does the speed matter, Jir? No. No, no, I was just saying, I'm moving real fast. Oop, I found... Anya. Found another prism. I take it. This one looks like it sits on... Like, on the other one. Like, it fits over it like a glove, per se. And you hear a shift down the... Yep, down that path that you're going. And this wall is gone. So there's only, there's, okay. But the prism, I make prism baby. 
I make a diamond. Um, it hits all of them and lights up all of them. And then... This door opens up. Now it's a full diamond. Oh, okay. I really fucking love Sam in the chat saying, look up a guide. Look up a guide. <laughs> Didn't know we were playing fucking Skyrim. Sam hates Skyrim. Five simple games that Sam hates. Why are they going down there? So oh. I can put them here. Oh. Alright, is everyone coming with? <laughs> Pizza Hut is a big ol' bag of fucking dick. And and like a Scooby snack, she yeets more more candy. The Scrungus? Yep. Scrungus catches it in his mouth. <laughs> He's getting surprisingly good at this, and honestly, it's a little worrying. <laughs> good for him. But he's like directly on Jem now because of this. <laughs> like a fucking dog. Why do you feed a dog? What's the for... dog doing? Sam <laughs> dogs cast. The Nobody real dog. asks how the dog doing. I love Domino's. Alright. Um, you arrive in this room and it shows you um yeah. images of the life cycle. Of each creature that resides around Latakai and Leshta. Over here, you see the life cycle of the frogs. Um, how they are born from the crystal, live outside, merge, and then die in the crystal and become more. This side shows um, some birds made of crystal the same cycle this side the dragons um except it shows the egg the dragon egg a mountain hmm. um and then this side shows the crystrons themselves the crystrons depicted here are large hulking creatures um they do have a humanoid look to them but there is no face depicted on them there is no um there are no real features they are living crystal no mouth no eyes nothing that's what i'm supposed to look like Callista's kind of just giving her a look, but not saying anything right now. Over on this wall is um, a picture of a Crystron and a modeling magic quote-unquote kit. The alchemical recipe, essentially, for modeling magic. And then below it is something that looks like Gemavive. And there is a little note next to it in a language that you're not able to decipher. Um, hey, Gem, you might want to come look at this one. That... Huh, that's weird. Um, you that's... can't read that, can you? She looks at the writing. Roll a check. What kind of check? Um, it would be a decryption check, but that's not in this. Um, so, investigation, I guess. Let me double check my stats. 
Investigation is intelligence, right? Yes. I have plus one to that. Yeah! Fifteen. That's actually really good. You're... Like, the language is at the tip of your mind. And the longer you stare at it, the more it begins to make sense. And it reads, Crystal Affinis. And it looks like there is some dust on the wall covering up a few other drawings. That you could just wipe. Hello? 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 Lynn? Lynn, your mic's getting out. Am I Beber? Yeah. There you Am are. I yep. here? Yep. Uh, uh, yeah, she's, she's like, wiping, brushing it off as fast as she can. I know they're synonyms. Um, Just like, wait, 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 wait a minute. The more you wipe off, um, you see a depiction of what looks like, um, similar to your structure. Um, you see that it shows the arms and the legs and everything can be broken, but circling some sort of core inside of this humanoid, um... And there's, like, a, a note that says, don't break. Um, there's another thing, and it kind of depicts force hitting the skin, and the skin hardening. Um, and then another one next to it that shows that no force means it's almost liquid. That there's a viscosity to it, with a gentle force. Oh, thank you, Doc. Thank you for the raid. raid. Thank you, Doc. Welcome to Doc's Cast. Existential crisis is going on. Wait. Wait a minute. This... This can't be true. Can it? Um... Callisto's just, like, looking, like, back and forth between, um, this wall and the wall with the Christians on it, and just, like, kept, keeps looking at Gemavivian and is just really starting to notice the stark differences between the two of them. Um, I don't want to bring up anything that hurts, but Gem, what's going on here? She just, she's shaking. A bit. I'm not a Christron. And her mean? arms just her arms just kind of hang limply by her sides. She just can't seem to tear her eyes away from the wall. What do you mean you're not a Christian? Aren't... How, how can uh, that be? Uh, it's on the wall. I'm an... A Finneys. No. No, I'm more than that. I'm... Some freak of nature. This is... My body. How it works. I'm... According to this, I... I'm not even a solid being. What? What the fuck am I? What did your... He, he kind of, like, is trying to find the words here. What did your parents look like? They look like this? Normal Christians. 
That's why it was always so wrong. That's why I didn't get along with the other kids. Because I look like this. Yeah, I would grow out of control sometimes. That's why Sterling would shave me down, but I've never been normal. I always... I was always something different, and I always... I, I'm not even... Everything's... Everything's been a lie, huh? It's all... My whole life but a lie. Um, Callisto just kind of has no words. He, like, he almost goes to, like, put a hand on her shoulder, and then he stops himself immediately, and just kind of, um, gives her, like, a sad look. You do notice that there is kind of depressed handprint in a wa in the wall. Um. That is similar to yours it's not your handprint but it's similar to yours and what is depicted on the wall she takes off her glove just sort of stares at her hand She's sort of coming to grips with the fact that this this image is literally telling her that she is not a solid being. Not to her knowledge at least. She's she's scrambling to figure out what's going on and she just silently presses her hand to the wall. When you press your hand into the wall, it begins to liquidate and enter into the wall itself, much like the frogs did. Though this, though the color of your hand is changing some inside of the wall, and you can see little spots that click and release more fluid that open up a door over in the bottom corner with the steps that descend. She just stands there and she looks like she's gonna vomit. Callisto kind of walks up. Um, he's, he's not looking at her. He's keeping his eyes on the wall. I don't think you're a freak. There's other people like you out there. According to this. Not really. This maybe, is... Maybe we can't this is... them yet. Callisto. These are all creatures found on Leshta and Latakai. Someone like me existed. Maybe they existed in the past, but now? Currently? I think I'm alone. And even then, this... And she looks at her arm, which is literally inside of the wall. This isn't normal. And she slowly starts taking her hand out. Might not be normal, but there is something beautiful about it. Does that make me any less of a freak, though? Alstrana's a big place. I'm sure there's... other creatures out there that are... more freaky, or... Less normal than you are. You haven't even seen half of it yet. I have. Circus. I've seen a giant crab. A cat that could turn invisible. Spider Woman. Very kind one at that. 
The woman made of myths. Jaskani, you've met her. Literal giant moth, I've... I've seen so much. Sterling always told me I was there for a reason. I was wrong. She was right. And now that I look at this, this is probably why my parents gave me up. I wouldn't have been a Christron helping run Lushta. I would have been something different. And you know how much Lushta just loves things that are different. <laughs> look at the enemy. Look at me. They tried doing that to you, didn't they? They um, tried making you the same. He has a very grave look on his face. He doesn't say anything, but he just gives you, like, a very slow nod. It's... It's all starting to make sense now. Um... I'm gonna take a quick moment, and then we're gonna go up the stairs. Down the stairs. And you just... She walks back into the hallway, away from everyone. And you all just hear her let out... A scream. And then she just walks back. Mostly fine. Just the crack over her face and eye, the one she gets when she's really stressed is there, and she just starts going down the stairs. Um, Callisto kind of gives everyone a look. Um, kind of like a silent check-in, like, are you guys doing okay? So, like, Skrung uh, Skrungus is already leaving. Um, Toraleth, Annaline, Ganymede. Annalai and Ganymede are kind of just looking at each other confused and they're like yeah this is just a lot to learn I mean not only are we learning about the life cycle of Lashta and Latek Eye but that there was another group of humanoids that lived within I've never even heard Sol of Finney's. I... I don't know. But... It doesn't seem to be a lie. Ganymede is gonna go to the wall where the recipe is. Like, loosely using the word recipe, the alchemical formula is written and it's gonna, like, sprawl out a paper and charcoal over it. Mm. Callisto just kind of gives her a nod and it's like, don't make sh make sure to not um, get anything on the wall itself. He's gonna walk those stairs. Step down into the final level of Latakai. This room is small. Um, but, you know, still spacious enough. There are depictions of a crystal dragon with some sort of shield on its back with eight points on it. Four are curved, four are straightened. Correct them. Get going, then. I. We must be close if we're seeing it. Couldn't be that much longer, right? Here's hoping. Is there anything in this hall? No, it's just a long hallway. Okay. How, how close is Scrungus sticking to Jem? 
Sorry, I was muted there for a second. I'd say probably like a good five feet away. Social like, distance. He keeps he keeps closing in, stopping, closing in, stopping. She just drops another chunk of rock candy on the ground, sort of like, "Hey, this is me making my space. This is the peace offering." But she drops it on the ground specifically so he has to stop to pick it up. He does. He takes a little it. He takes a little bit longer with it this time. Kind of gives her a look as she's walking away. Like, picks it up. He looks like he's about to eat it. He thinks on it for like a long, hard minute. Just kind of shoves it into in between one of his bandages. Grumbles and keeps walking. Oh, it's bright in here. Um, the light from the outside. You enter down into this final area, and there is a large alcove. You can see... The rough... You can hear the water in the distance. You cannot see it, as there is a thick fog at the very end of the alcove. At the center of the room is a large and towering staircase. Fit... For that of a dragon that leads up to a small stand with a shield placed at its peak. Well, I better start climbing. And she just resolute, but still kind of limp starts like, walking up to the big staircase and then climbing up it. Um, Callisto stays at the bottom and tries to, like, give her a reassuring smile as she climbs the stairs. Each step up the staircase lets out a small resonating twinkle. Um. Like that of a xylophone, almost. Um, Gem, it, if they're gonna do that, Sorry. Uh, Jem's gonna take off her shoes then to kind of help the resonance. Each step doesn't appear to be going up in a scale, but it seems to be that of a melody. Um. And at its peak, Triactum sits before you on a pedestal. I'll show it again. She takes a very deep breath. <sighs> it really is beautiful. I don't know if I'm worthy enough to have it. But... And she's muttering this so the rest of the party can't hear. And she looks back down at everyone. I need this. And she smiles a little bit. Maybe I can still be worth something to them. Even if I am a freak. And she picks up Cryactum and sort of hugs it to her chest. I'm gonna and say she... that after a moment, you probably put it on like a shield. Yeah. Um. And... As you do that, you feel your wrist and cryactum begin to fuse together. Almost uh, becoming an extension of yourself. Whoa. Can I take it off? Or is it, like, stuck yeah, to me now? you can take it off. Weird. She, like, takes it on and off a few times. After a point of putting it on and off, it kind of shrinks in on itself and you can see it inside of your arm 
a small version of it glowing inside of your arm. She sort of rubs her arm a bit. That's... incredible. Actually, it's kind of circular. Maybe it shows up on the back of her hand, flavor-wise. Yeah. So that's cool looking. Like a tattoo. You can kind of make it... If you think hard about it, it grows back out. Um, reforming itself perfectly each time. However, you she do smiles. notice that there are only four points on this. Versus the eight points that were depicted on the dragon. That's... That's concerning. It, uh, it should be fine. And she walks downstairs. Uh, and she's a little cheeky about it. And she doesn't- and she keeps it hidden for a minute. Guys, I'm really sorry. It wasn't there. What do you mean? The cryactum wasn't there. I- I looked and I looked. But wait a minute, though. And, and she's like trying to hide her laughter. Hey, Ganymede, can you come over here? I think I see something behind your ear. Uh Ganymede just <laughs> poofs in, in front. <laughs> I'm sorry. And and she's like Yeah, no, I think there's something behind your ear. What is that? And and she like reaches behind and then as she pulls her arm back she makes cryactum appear and, and she just starts laughing. <laughs> Ganymede kinda jumps and like has the the dagger ready, and is just afraid. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. Sorry. I, <laughs> I, I thought it would be funny. The tower that was behind you has is now crumbling in, back into the mountain itself. With a gentle hum. Not a loud clamor. A gentle resonance. Becoming one with the mountain once. But, uh, yeah, I found Cryactum. It, it's really neat, actually. I can just sort of... And she thinks about it real hard, makes it go in, makes it go out again. I can control it with my mind. Callisto's, like, in awe of Cryactum. He, he comes up to the side of Gemaviv. My gods, that's beautiful. Yeah, it's... It's really amazing. It seems to already be taking a liking to you if it's able to do that. Yeah. It, it sort of scared me at first. Because it was just like, oh, oh, it's fusing itself to me. I thought it, it, it probably has something to do with the fact that I'm kind of liquidy on the inside. You do know that whenever it comes out from your from your hand it blossoms like a flower almost yeah I mean if it can do that maybe it was always meant to be wielded by a crystal finis after all maybe what do you guys think really nice love the colors it's so vibrant it matches me. <laughs> Not to be vain. I think it suits you. <laughs> so that's... One, two... That's four divine weapons in one room. Now... Kind of crazy to think about. Um, I guess... I guess maybe this is what we're supposed to do. Maybe. He's kind of fiddling with Sunspot as he says that. Yeah. This is... scary. Really scary. But, um... Maybe it's gonna be okay? Was it this life-altering for you, Torleth? 
and you, Callisto and Ganymede, I guess. Because, gods, I have... I have learned a whole lot in not a very long amount of time. Uh, yeah. I had to pull mine out of someone's stomach, so, um, this is pretty what? tame. Oh my god! Are you okay? Why didn't you say anything? No, I'm not okay, but, um, I'll keep it in to myself. Um, it's fine. <laughs> no, no! And and she, like, goes right up to Toraleth, like, very concerned. Uh. No, that's... that's awful! I had no idea. I, 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 I just didn't want to scare you or anything. I, I wish I knew. I, I wouldn't it, have it, asked it, you to. I wouldn't have no, asked no, no, you to come with. No, it's fine. It's really fine. It got me out of the boat. It's, it, it, it's fine. It, it's really fine. It's something I should have expected, really. But you said. That had to have been horrifying. Oh no, it was. It was, but hey, we do what we do. Doesn't make it okay. There had to have been another way. I no. Stuck in there. I'm really sorry, Toraleth. Shrugs. When we get back to the boat, we should talk about it, or if you don't want to talk about it, let's do something fun to distract you, okay? I've learned a lot, but you sound like you need the support right now. He kind of looks at the ground for a moment and then gives you a little smile and nods. She smiles back. It's up to you. We're here to help. I'm here to help. I- I hope- And she looks back at everyone. I hope you- Let's all do something fun together. Um... Callisto has kind of, um, during that conversation, walked away a little bit. He's gripping Sunspot in his hand. He has a very angry look on his face, but he's staring directly into the fog. Just kind of looking at something. Analy starts to look around with deep concern as well. There's a fog? Did you guys not want to do something fun? I was even... I was gonna invite Scrungus, it would be like a, not a party or something, but I don't know, just a group get together? The, the six of us to celebrate? And why don't you guys roll perception? Oh boy! I have a really good wisdom! That is a 25. Let me pull up my stats real quick. I, I got a 19. Perception. I got plus 5. Nope. Nope. And nope. I'm suffering. I don't know how to type. I got a 24. Okay. I have an 18. Alright. So you all see this. You see it as pushing through the fog. There's fog. There, yeah, there's fog at the end. Um, is a large form. Torleth, you specifically remember this. Scrungus, you remember this. And stepping forward into the light. is the God Slayer. The hands without gauntlets for a moment, but then a dark gray energy operates around their fists and the gauntlets form. And you can see them stretching their fingers and wrist, cracking the knuckles together. 
and reaching down into the mountain and beginning to rip it. Uh, and that is the end of session. I, I want it to be on the record that the moment God Slayer appeared, the sh Um, Lynn, Lynn, you, you cut, cut out. out. The moment that God Slayer <laughs> appeared, you cut out. Well, <laughs> Lynn died. <laughs> Lynn gets a new mic challenge. Um, I think Lynn has a Yeti. Shield is out. Okay. The moment heard? God Slayer is here, Shield goes out. Lynn has the blue yeti. That's what, yes, we can hear you. Lynn has the blue yeti. That's what we use. But Lynn might just need a new cord for it. You might want to get a new cord. Lynn, we. Oh. Well. Lynn has the, a nice podcasting mic like like us. So I don't know what it is. I honestly think it might just be the cord. Um, Lynn can't hear, but uh, we hope you enjoyed the session. Lynn um, gets a new internet challenge. You know, that yeah. might help. Um, hello? Hi. Oh, I, can, I can hear again. I can hear again. I was promised Scrungus Boo Boo. <laughs> you were. You know um, what? I'll, I'll, I'll cap off session with uh, this bit of characterization. Scrungus stomps forward a bit ahead of where everyone is. I... Also, what I was trying to say before was the moment God Slayer appeared, Gem pulled her shield out. Yeah. Tyler's gonna say something any minute now. <laughs> what is happening? Hello? Did Tyler die? Sorry, uh, I went to go pick up my mic for a second and it <laughs> cut out. So I'll say it one more time. Uh, Scrongus treasures a little bit ahead of everyone uh, where everyone is standing. Uh, he kind of just tightly grips at the hilt of the great sword that's strapped to his back cracks his neck groans and just mutters out hey boo boo god fucking damn it god damn it all right <laughs> All right, we'll be. Hold on, I want to say something. I just wanted to thank you all for joining us. Um, join us next week to see the God Slayer in action. Thank you for joining us tonight, and we are going to raid Dice Envy. I can't breathe. Thank you so much for joining us. The God Slayer is coming. Have I a good night, everyone. God Slayer is here. God will Bye. punish you. God will punish you. God will punish you. Bye.